all right so now we're back at the kbc mobile so uh doing a pre-trip inspection proper pre-trip inspection includes everything from uh cooling system radiator uh radiator intake hoses uh, fan shrouds the fans the belts the water pump uh and everything including intake turbocharger uh uh cooler uh, fuel filters, you got to inspect everything, air filter also or whatnot. So you take your time, you do your uh, under the hood inspection, you move over to the driver's side. As you move over here to your driver's side, uh, you continue to check all of your intake hoses, check anything that's rubber, check all your rubber hoses, uh, check all your clamps, make sure all the clamps are properly mounted and secure. Uh, rubber hoses, make sure they're not dry rotted, not frayed, not cracked. Electrical wiring, uh, alternators, alternator belts, no more less than three quarter inch deflection. After you finish that, check all your fluid levels, power steering fluid, check your oil level or filler cap. Then check your steering system, steering shaft, right? Steering shaft U joint, steering gear box, pitman arm, um, drag link, steering knuckle, and also check all of your other components, make sure that they're all secure like tie rod bar, tie rod ends, make sure they're properly secured by what? Castle nut and carter pin. Make sure you got your castle nut and carter pin to secure everything, okay? After you check that, then you can look at your braking system, right? Check your brake hoses, brake chambers, uh, push rod, slack adjusters, and then check those brake shoes. Make sure you identify that your brake shoes are not less than a quarter of an inch. Check the condition of your brake drums. Check the tires outside of your tires rims and the hubs check the sight glass of your hubs make sure your lug nuts are not loose okay behind here your steps is going to be your battery box uh you can get a visual on the batteries make sure your battery cables are nice and tight make sure that there's no corrosion uh make sure the batteries are not leaking any acid check your def cap def tank make sure those tanks def and diesel fluid tanks and the caps are properly mounted and secure uh, make sure that diesel fluid cap doesn't come off of there, right? Make sure that baby is properly mounted and secure. Go ahead and check those steps. Check the catwalk. Uh, check all your spring hangers. When you walk up on the catwalk, check your drive line, right? Check your drive line. Whoa, oh, excuse me. Get your drive line, your drive shafts. Make sure those U joints are nice and tight. Check your exhaust system up on the catwalk, right? Check your spring hangers and also check your lines when you're checking the spring hanger with the glad hands and the dummy connectors over on that side. Come back here, check your splash guards and uh, check your suspension system. Suspension and brake systems on the rear axle. Also, when you get to the coupling system, make sure you're checking the platform mounting bolts. Check the fifth wheel locking pins, locking air cylinder and air line. Check the fifth wheel base plate, skid plate. Check the release arm, check the pivot pins, and also get up underneath and check your locking jaws, right? Make sure your locking jaws are going to securely fasten around what? Your kingpin. And while you're up underneath that, check the condition of that apron. Check your header board on your trailer. Make sure you're not missing any rivets, more than three rivets in a column. Check your seven way electrical plug. Make sure the pins are not cracked, broken, or missing. Also, check your glad hand rubbers, right? On the glad hand receptacles. Make sure that they're not uh, dry rotted and uh, make sure they're not damaged or missing. Also, make sure you check your trailer registrations, right? Check your trailer registrations. If the uh, FMCSA Federal Highway Inspection decals, uh, check your reflector tape. Also, check the side and conditions of your trailer. Also, look up underneath your trailer, check your cross members. Make sure that there's not any missing or bent cross members. Check the crossbars on the landing gear. Landing gear has crossbars, no missing sand shoes. Check for a missing and properly mounted, properly assembly and mounted um, a landing gear crank arm, right? Also check the condition of the side of your trailer. Walk all the way back, uh, checking the condition of the side of your trailer, checking your lights, checking all your conspiracy, conspiracy tape, a reflector tape, whichever one you want to call it. Bottom, top rails, 
as well as the bottom rail conditions. Uh, you're going to check suspension and brakes up underneath the front axle. Check your airlines. Make sure the airlines are at least three feet up off the ground. Check your tandem release arms, right? Make sure your tandem pins are in place. Make sure those tandem pins are in place. Make sure the release arm is in the inward position. Also on the last axle, make sure you check uh, suspension and brakes. Check your tires, rims, and hubs. Check all your caps. Make sure they're not leaking any fluid. Make sure that they're filled to the proper level. Now proceed to the back. Check your ABS braking system light. Check your ICC bumper on the back. Check the door conditions. And as you open up the door of your trailer, make sure you check the conditions of the floor inside your trailer. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let me flip the camera back around. 